Uh, this is for my fellow videographers, especially if you do wedding. I think this is really important to show you guys uh, because I had an issue uh, with my Panasonic GH5. The file uh, came out as uh, this MDT file because of the the battery grip uh, loses power sometimes. So instead of the camera to actually stop recording the video, it will just cut off. So if you're having this issue also, I will recommend that you stop using the battery grip or always make sure that it's tightened all the way. But what I'm going to show you guys right now is the Lumix repair tool. I ran into this issue multiple times and I got confused. Why is this not working? So I will show you guys what it's doing. The file have been repaired. This is the repaired version and the audio and everything works uh, with no issue. Right now, this is done. I will show you when I'm gonna open, reopen this and show you what it's going to do. I've been downloading a bunch of different uh, software. I have this, I forgot what that's called, but it did not work for me. You only repair like a few seconds and it was really bad. So I'm gonna close this off right now. Okay, and we are going to reopen it. This is for those who already have this downloaded. I will show something like this, more info, run it anyways, and it's going to pop up right here. So we'll go right here, we'll click the MTD file and go to repair, it's right here. This is the file. Sorry, kind of, I wasn't seeing this for a minute. If you click to open, it's gonna close this thing. Watch right now, it's not gonna open up. It did that to me multiple times, open. Okay, see what it just did? It did not load at all. It just closed it down. So if I go again, go back there, click the MDT file, as you guys can see, as you guys can see, and then I put open. And then it will just close off. It did this multiple times, it drove me nuts. So I'll show you guys the right way to do it. So once you open this up, okay, now that it's open, run it. And as it pops up, I'm gonna close this out. Uh, open the repair files. Where is that? Okay. You have to drag, you have to drag the files in here. You can't just open it from here don't do that it's just gonna close this thing out so drag the file the mdt file first you drag it and you put it on here you see now it shows and then you drag the file that you want for it to reference once you take that file you drag it at the bottom all right now it's ready to repair and like i said everything worked once i did it this way and you just click repair, it will take some time. Uh, another suggestion is to make sure that the file that you're using to repair, like you're using for reference, make sure it's almost the same size um, as the one that's messed up. So this one is 18 gig, uh, this is 23 uh, gig. And so it's enough information for it to sample to repair your file. Uh, I'm going to pull this one out here. This is the repaired one. If I don't remove that from this folder, it will try to override it if I click uh, repair. Uh, that's a repair that's already done. So once you hit repair, the, pro uh, the process starts. Okay. And it's going to be on the same folder as the MDT file. So once he has processed some of the files, it will then pop up on that folder. But as you guys can see, that's it right here. It takes some time, but everything worked perfectly. That's pretty much it. I hope this was helpful. Thank you guys for watching.